Hi there, my name is Mitchell Kennedy and welcome to Red Belly Media. If you missed the last video of the Thanos motion capture test, click on the link in the description and watch that first because for the next few videos, I'm going to cover all of the steps involved with that facial motion capture process. In today's video, we'll cover rigging your 3D model's face ready for animation using the Face It add-on for Blender. You can find Face It on the Blender market and I'll leave a link down below. Once you've downloaded and installed the add-on, go ahead and open up your Blender project. Import your model and go to the Face It tab on the right hand side. The first page you will see is the initial setup where you will register all of the objects or vertex groups that relate to the corresponding face features. Select all of the objects that you want to include and hit the register face objects button. Now you'll see all of the registered objects listed. Next, select the main face object and click on the main face button to assign it. Do the same for the eyes, eyelids, teeth, tongue, eyelashes and so on. Next, go into the Rig tab and press Generate Landmarks. Be sure to select the Asymmetry button if your character wasn't modelled symmetrical. First, align the guide to the chin, then match the face height and width. You'll now see all of the landmarks on the face. Go through and align each of these with your character's face. For the proper placement of each landmark, I'll leave a link below to the Face It documentation which has some excellent examples of the whole process. So I'll just roughly place these in the right position. Once they are all placed correctly in the front view, press the project landmarks button which will switch you to the side view. But you can also now rotate the view to wherever you need to accurately adjust the landmarks to where they need to be. A few tips to keep in mind when placing the landmarks it will allow a bit of room in the corners of the eyes and mouth which helps with proper deformation. But also to push the mouth and eye landmarks slightly into the mesh on the Y axis which also helps the mesh deform properly. When you're happy with the placement of all the landmarks, go ahead and hit the Generate Face It Rig button. Press Bind and OK to join the control rig to your mesh. Move on to the Expressions tab and press the Load Face It Expressions button. Click OK and you'll now see a list of all of the generated shape keys. Go through each one and check to see if they are operating correctly. If they need adjustment, you can click the Corrective Shape Key button for each and sculpt in the corrections. When all of the shape keys are operating correctly, click on the Bake tab and press the Bake Shape Keys button. The final step to getting your model ready for motion capture is to generate the control rig itself. Go into the Control tab and press Generate Control Rig. Now if you go into Pose Mode, you can mess around with posing your newly rigged face. And that's it for this one. Be sure to check out the official Face It documentation for a more in-depth understanding of the add-on. In the next video, we'll use Facegood's free avatar software to track the actor's facial performance and then retarget that information to our Face It control rig. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss that next episode. Give this video a like if it helped you out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.